today's lesson we're going to talk about logic so here are some um, definitions we can go over proposition is a statement that is either true or false um, you have a negation this is the negation signs which means it's a not right if this is something happening then this means it's not happening right we have our disjunctions disjunctions or use the word or this is the sign use the word or this is disjunctions so if we have two statement p and q and have a disjunction between it will be all true but when p statement falls and q statement falls now let's look at conjunctions conjunction is another way of saying it is the n and this is the sign for it so this one is all false statements except when p is true and uh, q is true so if both statement true then it could be true but if one of them are false then it will be all false then you have conditional conditional you have the sign right here arrow going from one statements to the other set uh, statements and when you read them you will say then right and this is going to be all true but when you have the second statement fall so with that in mind let's see if we be able to answer some of these questions you have Statement P is equals to 4 plus 3 is even. And Q is 4 squared plus 3 squared is odd. So just any statement throwing out there, we're not saying this is going to be true. Because when you do 4 plus 3, that's uh, 7, which is not even numbers, right? So any statements throwing out there. So then negations. So this is going to be uh, not P. So how are we going to write that? We will say if we have not P, then we could say four plus three is not even. So um, remember this P statement was the fault. So not P statement should be true, right? And then what about not Q not Q it means 4 square plus 3 square is not odd again Q is true statements right here so that's going to be 16 plus 9 right so that's going to be odd which is the true statements so that not q is going to be the false statement what about c um we will have p or q it means four plus three is even or four squared plus three square is odd well this one right here q is true um so p or q is true remember um the table that that we were looking at it the or statements if you have everything is true but when both statement is false right so here this is going to be one statement true so p or q is true um let's see what about d they were asking for p and q this is 4 plus 3 is even, and 4 
her square plus 3 square is odd. Well, this is, this is, well, even one statement false. Remember, the table say that n statement should be false, right? So since the first statement is false, this n statement is also false. Let's look at what about the last one from example one. You have P then Q, right? If we change this into the word problem, if we say if four plus three is even, then four square plus three square is odd. That's how you can change the word or connect the wording together with P statement and Q statement with um, then, right? What about is this going to be true or false? Uh, because the first statement is false, this had to be true. So if you have P, then Q, and if the first statement is false, then no matter what, it will be true. Let's go back to the charts and show you that again. If first statement is true, I mean, if first uh, statement is false, right here. If first statement is false, then no matter what second statement is going to be, it's going to be all um, true. Only time it's going to be false is going to be when first statement true, but second statement false. Let's look at example two. Example two, we're going to look at the then statement a little bit uh, more. So we have statement P saying two plus two is four, Q is nine is a prime. So A, P then Q, it means if 2 plus 2 is 4, then 9 is a prime. Um, this is true statement, right? This is true. Um, and Q is false statement. So this means only time it will be false statement in then statements, right? So this is going to be false statement, right? What about B? Um, it's a converse of P, then Q, right? Converse of P, then Q means um, flip it, right? If 9 is a prime, then 2 plus 2 is 4. And if first statement is true, no, if first statement is false, no matter what second statement it will be, it will be still false on then statement, right? So this is going to be true. Why? Because this is false statement. Start out with false, so no matter what you end it, it will be true statement. So let's see the next uh, last one from example two. It's a country positive of P goes to Q. So this means they want you to do not Q and not P. So not Q, that not P, it means you're going to do if 9 is not prime, then 2 plus 2 is not equal to 4. So Q is false. But if you do not Q, that's going to be true, right? So this is going to be true. 
and then uh, p is true so when you do not p that's going to be the fault this means that the uh, whole statement it's going to be the false statement because it started with trues and end with false example three they didn't give you the statement of the first and seconds, but they want you to find the true table, right? So if we have P and Q, P statements, what four um, different events can happen when P can be true, Q can be true. Uh, when P is true, uh, Q is false, or P is false, Q is true, uh, P is false, and Q is false. So this is four event can happen with two statements. Um, when you have not, what happened to not? Like, so you have a P not. P not means you're going to flip all this. So if it's a true, it will be false, false. If it was false, it will be true. So now you have not P or Q. So you're looking at this two line, not P first and Q. You're looking at those two. So let me write it down what you're looking at. You have F, F, T, T. And then you have T, F, T, F. And in order to find the solutions of or of those two, remember, or will be all true except both statement is false. So this case will be true, this case will be true, this case will be true, except having both statement false. So that will be the false statement. So the solutions of that true table is going to be true, false, true, true. Uh, we're going to try a few more of building the true table. And maybe the problem will get longer and longer. So first P, um, it will be either true and false. Q will become true fault, true fault, right? That will be the four different um, event. And with that, if we wanted to find um, true table of then statements, that gives you true, fall, true, fall. I mean, true, true, right? Only time it's the fall is when it's the true and fall for then statement. Now you're going to look at this, what you have, and P. Remember what the P statement is? Same thing as this P, right? So it had to be true, true, fall, fall. So you're looking at this two, this and that, to find the intersections, which is n, right? The n is going to be all um, um, all fall except when it's true, true statements. So this is true, this is true, so that will be true. And do you have any other true, true? No, true, false. So everything else will be the false. Now let's find the uh, Q so that we can actually find the solutions event, right? So Q will have true fall, true fall. 
So now what are we looking at? We're looking at this and that, right? And that will be the solution. So let me write, uh, write uh, use the red mark. So that will be true, true will be true. And false, false will be also true. False, true will be true. And true, uh, false and false will be also true. So that should be the solutions of that to uh, um, that true table. So the true table, don't forget, even how big it is, uh, we start from inside out like order of operations. Let's try another one, example five. Um, I'm going to write all the P and Q statement first. And then I wanted to find the inside out first. So we do the parentheses first. It means this is what I'm going to find first, right? Between P or Q. P or Q, everything is going to be true, but when false and false, right? So that's what you have. That's number one. So again, I'm going to write that's number one. Then second thing that I need to find is going to be this one right here, right? Not. So if I find the not of that, number one is going to be fall, all false, false, for false, except it was false becoming true. And then, so that was the second. And then you wanted to find um, intersections. Intersection of which two? Intersection of this and this, right? That will give me uh, true fall in our intersection. N is going to be the fall. True, fall is going to be also fall. False, false will be the false. False, true will be also false. Only time intersections and will be true is going to be when you have true and true, right? So, oh, and let me write that with the red because that's the solutions. Right? So this is the solutions of this true table. Let's try one last one here. Um, this is the new sign. What does this mean? Um, this is asking you to show the left side and right side is equal to each other. So we're going to find the true table for this and truth table for that and see if they are equals to, right? Let's first find the true table for the given statements and also find the not statements. Then we can start working on the inside out. So this is what I should be working first on the left side. Um, or true, true is true. True, fall will be true. Fall, true will be true. And fall, false will be false. Remember, um, the all statements, it will be only false if both statement is false, right? So then second step is going to be finding the not of that. So it will be false, 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 and true. So that's two. And I'm done with, I'm done with this side, right? The left side. Let's look at the right side. Right side, only thing that I need to do is finding intersection of those two statements. So it will be false. Everything is false except true and true, right? False, false, and true. So when you're comparing these two, false, 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 true, and top three false and last one true. So you could say this is 
equivalent to the third one. This is how you're going to use the truth table for the logic sections.